It's the OCG Fam Show. Hey there. Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on in your grow? Let me know in the comments and we'll talk about it. And speaking of the comments, often in the comments, and for a while now we've been talking about one shot and in the not the last couple of viewer questions episodes we did, but uh, one previous to that, Scott actually talked about the actual process of using one shot. We've talked about this before, but uh, this was specific to doing an auto flower, and he really went into some basics. It's real short, but it gives you a breakdown of how he uses one shot. I think it's valuable, one shot. This stuff, dry stuff, just using that or using that with some bottles. How to do it, watch the video, I'll talk to you after. So if you're coming from a clone and you put a clone into the dirt, yeah. is the one shot ready to rock right there because you got stuff in the soil or? Well, that's it is once one shot's hydrated and give it 12 to 24 hours and the breakdown period begins you because the some. bacteria awakens, the fungi start to germinate and attach and then that ball of food is literally a house of nutrition for the bacteria that live on it to just consume. So once it's hydrated, you know, 12 to 24 hours, the trace starts releasing. Within a week, you're getting a decent flow, and then, then it comes on to hydration. And in theory, you've got a little tiny plant. Even if it's a clone, it's not going to need as much at the start as it does going. Yeah, but you're also not saturating a seven-gallon pot yeah. filled with three pounds of one-shot because... Less water, the one-shots over here is not even touched. It's yeah. the one-shot that got the water on it. And ideally, you know, you put this in... Before you plant, get it yes. mixed in into the root zone. Uh -huh. And I always go a little bit light when I transplant into a big thing, like I yeah. put in X. Uh -huh. Get my transplant in there. Then when I go into the right before a bloom stage, I'll start to top dress some more. Okay. That's giving me a fresh load of that fine powdered bone meal that we create, and then that will leach in throughout the whole cycle. Okay. Uh, you know, three to six months. I mean, it really. Like 25 pounds and 400 gallon smart pot will last about three to four months. So scale that all the way back, which I'm not going to try to do that math here on live TV. <laughs> but if you really kind of break it down, you know, one pound in a one and a half cubic foot bag should get an auto flower that lasts, you know, 56 days uh -huh. all the way through. Okay. If it's a hungrier genetic, then maybe two pounds in that or one pound now and a half a pound, you know, redistributed over the, the cycle of the plant's life. Okay, well, what do you think about that? I know that's just a little simple thing, but I thought it was valuable. Um, let me know what you thought about that. If you got other questions about that, we'll talk about it in the comments. I got a little more about One Shot tomorrow, but I want to get into some more, much more in-depth, digging into things episodes. So let's talk about what we might do with that. If you got specific questions, specific concerns, things you want to talk about, I want to talk about them too. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show, it's pretty good, it happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.